Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you all the DVDs and Blu-rays I've picked up in maybe the last three or four weeks. I've got such a range of titles to show you guys today. I've got some 3Ds, i got some new releases, i got some TV shows. I've got a bit of everything in this video. Alright guys, before we get started, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Hit that like button on the video, uh, it really shows your support and shows that you're enjoying the videos. Leave a comment down below guys on any of your thoughts or opinions on any of the titles that I've shown you in today's video. Let's get into the video guys. Alright guys, so there's no order to any of this, I just basically stacked the title so I'm sorry if it's a bit out of order but anyway, first off, new release, I picked up Hostiles on Blu-ray starring Christian Bale. Um, now of course I'm a huge western buff so when there is a new western coming out, especially from Hollywood and the big directors and cast, I definitely want to pick it up as soon as. Uh, I'm sick of the straight to DVD and Blu-ray crappy movies that come out. Um, I've only picked up maybe one or two this year and they've all been rubbish. Um, so it's good that Hollywood finally did a film by themselves that's big budget and it's actually a very good film. Um, so I did enjoy this film. It stars Christian Bale. Uh, he plays an army captain. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, beautiful film. It's shot in Mexico so it's going to look very very awesome. Um, some of the shots they used was fantastic looking with the landscapes. Um, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that there was no 4K release of this in the UK. Uh, I believe only America got the 4K because the majority of the film is outdoors. So obviously outdoor scenes look amazing in 4K. Uh, if you've seen Westworld it's kind of similar to the landscape in that. It's kind of like the western theme so it would look identical to Westworld so I, I hope to get the 4K at some point. Um, but it's not a high, you know, on my wish list because I did pick up the Blu-ray and the Blu-ray looks good, don't get me wrong, but it'd be nice to have the, the, the 4K edition. Um, but I really enjoyed the film, I recommend picking it up and watching it. Uh, it's a good story, it's a good travelling film. Um, yeah, I really recommend Hostiles, guys. Alright guys, next up I picked up The Thing. Um, this is the prequel movie, not the original. I uh, picked it up on Steelbook, this is the French import. I got this for a really, really good price, like under £5, uh, in mint condition, so I definitely had to pick it up. Uh, I do already have the two pack of this with the original bundle together, uh, but I am going to be selling that because now I've got this, and then I've got the Arrow box set of the original. Um, but I really enjoy the prequel, I don't like it as much as of course the original, but I really enjoy it, I like how it is a prequel, uh, even though some people to this day still say it's a remake when it's not. Um, so I enjoy it, I take it as a prequel and I enjoy it as a prequel. Um, the guy from Game of Thrones is in here, the one with the big ginger beard. Uh, one of the wildlings that's in Game of Thrones, uh, he's in this, uh, so you might recognise him. But I have a fun time watching it, uh, I actually watched it not too long ago, uh, as well as the original, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, great looking steelbook, um, very very nice. I remember seeing it online a couple times and I was like, oh, I kind of want to get that. But because I already had the Blu-rays, I kind of just passed off on it. Um, but yeah, nice still book. So you get the Blu-ray and the DVD, digital copy as well. Uh, but it is a French import, I might add as well. So there's French text. Um, but yeah, I like the front, I like the back. So it's worth picking up the steel book for. So yeah, the thing prequel. Alright guys, next up I picked up Godzilla 3D. I picked this up from my local Poundland store. Uh, very happy to find this. I was quite surprised uh, to see the 3D edition uh, for a pound. Uh, of course, big, big 3D fan. I still pick them up even though I buy 4K titles now. Um, I still pick up the odd 3D here and there. Um, I really, really enjoyed this film. I watched it last night and I really had a great time watching it. Um, the 3D maybe did make the movie better. But, well I know it did, but um, the movie itself I thought was pretty decent. Um, I was surprised at how good it was. I'd heard people kind of saying mixed things about it. But I was pleasant surprised by it. Um, I didn't mind watching it. Um, the 3D added some depth to it which was pretty cool. No pop outs unfortunately which was quite a shame because there could have been so many pop outs in this movie. But they never chose to do that. It was a conversion 3D release so it wasn't a uh, native 3D. But, so that was a bit disappointing, but the movie itself I enjoyed, Brian Cranston did a good job in it, uh, Elizabeth Olsen did a good job, uh, so I recommend checking it out, especially if you find it in your local Poundland store for a pound, 
you can't really go wrong, especially when you've got the 3D uh, disc as well. Um, it is a two disc release, um, it's, it is on separate discs, um, so the compression rate and all that's fine. And then you do get a digital copy as well. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed Godzilla and I'm glad I got it for £1, that was pretty cool. Alright guys, the next title I picked up was The Place Beyond the Pines. Now I've still not seen this movie, um, I know it's been years since it came out now. I remember seeing people's um, top 10 lists of the year and a lot of people had this in their top 10 lists. So it is a movie I really, really is high priority for me to watch. Um, I got it for a pound in CX so I couldn't pass that up. Um, I love the cast though, you got Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendes, Ray Liotta. So a stellar cast, so I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Um, I, I read what the story was about and it, it looks really good, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. Alright guys, next one I picked up was Crimson Tide on Blu-ray. I picked this up from Music Magpie for under £3. I absolutely love this film. I, I'd never seen it before picking it up on Blu-ray and I did actually watch it. I loved this film, I thought it was fantastic. Gene Hackman and Denzel go head on head against each other. Uh, in the movie, it's fantastic. There's some great tense moments. There's some great storytelling in the movie. Some great action sequences, uh, like the submarine attacks and things like that. Great movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm a bit annoyed that I haven't seen it sooner. <laughs> um, but I've seen it now. That's the main thing. That's the positive. I really recommend checking out Crimson Tide if you haven't yet. Um, if you like your war movies, if you like submarine films uh, like Das Boot, um, definitely check out Crimson Tide. Alright, next up guys, I did in fact pick up Ice Station Zebra, yet another submarine film. Um, I got this really cheap on eBay, uh, you can see that on my mystery eBay unboxing videos on my channel. Um, but I did in fact pick up Ice Station Zebra also. Love this film, I've seen it many many times, it's directed by John Sturges, an amazing director. Um, I do not have the DVD because it's out of print, so I didn't actually own the movie. So I'm glad to finally own the movie on Blu-ray, um, or any format for that matter. Uh, the Blu-ray quality looks fantastic. I think Blu-ray.com gave it like a 4.5 out of 5, which I totally agree with. Um, it, it looks fantastic. The sound wasn't all that amazing. I think it was, oh no, it was 5.1. So it kind of, it sounded kind of stereo, like mono track to me. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's an older movie, but really enjoyed it. It's highly recommend picking that one up. Next up, we got another classic. We got Chisholm starring John Wayne. One of my favourite John Wayne films ever. I've had the DVD for well over 10 years now. Uh, I watch it every single year. I absolutely love it. And revisiting it on Blu-ray, it was such a fun experience. It looked crisp and clear. It looked fantastic on Blu-ray. The colours were awesome. Um, the aspect ratio was correct. Amazing release, um, a little lacklustre on the special features but that's kind of what's to be expected with John Wayne films, there really wasn't much material made. Um, absolutely love Chisholm, um, it is an equal case unfortunately but you know what, I, I would happily take just the disc, you know that's how much I would want the, the movie on Blu-ray. Um, so yeah Chisholm, I highly recommend you pick this up and give it a watch, um, it's fairly cheap now like $13. Next up guys, we've got Wolf Creek on Blu-ray. I got this in CX for, I think, a pound. Oh, sorry, two pound. Um, I love the Wolf Creek series. I recently started watching them uh, this year, actually. I watched the two movies and then I watched the TV show. Um, I actually did do a review, a review of the TV show, so you can check that out on my channel. Um, but I love the movies slightly more than the, the show, just because these are like the original content, I suppose. Um, but I love Wolf Creek. I think Mick Taylor, the serial killer, is just fantastic. Such a great character. Um, all the performances are pretty good. Uh, it is an Australian film. Um, it is shaky cam as well, so if you don't like shaky cam, there is some shaky cam in here. Um, it, it looks gritty, it looks raw, it's fantastic. I love this movie and to get it for the price I did, I was very, very happy. Alright guys, next title here, we've got Edge of Darkness with Ray Winston and Mel Gibson. I've yet to watch this film, but I got recommended it by my uncle. Um, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Uh, big Mel Gibson fan uh, in his acting and his directing, so very much looking forward to checking this one out. Leave a comment if you think this is a good film or not. Uh, definitely let me know your opinions on this film before I watch it. 
Next up, I upgraded some of my Kevin Bridges. I picked up the 2015 tour that he did on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD, so it was mostly just a HD upgrade. But Kevin Bridges is hilarious. If you're British and you haven't seen him, definitely research into him uh, and check out some of his shows that he's done. Hilarious person. Um, and I have them all on DVD, but I want to get them all on Blu-ray because I love them. So yeah, uh, this was only 50 pence in CX, so very, very cheap. Next up guys, I picked up the Battle of Britain. This is the Steelbook Edition from the UK. Um, a shop called Entertainment Store here on eBay um, had a very good uh, steelbook sale. A lot of 4 99 to 6 99 steelbooks. So you'll see in a minute I picked up quite a few. Um, but I picked up Battle of Britain. Um, I have the DVD but I wanted to upgrade to the Blu-ray. And to get a steelbook for 4 99 I couldn't argue with that. So I did pick up Battle of Britain. Uh, very nice steelbook. I've yet to open it or watch it, but rest assured I will be doing that very very soon. I also picked up Patton on Blu-ray steelbook from the exact same place for $4.99. Very excited to have this. I actually got this for free technically because I sold my original Blu-ray release of this for £5, so I actually paid nothing for this. So that was awesome. Um, but yeah, very nice steelbook, very nice cover. And uh, I remember the Blu-ray looking very very good, so I'm looking forward to revisiting this one uh, and nice to have a steelbook for it too. Another one I picked up for $4.99 uh, was Tigerland with Colin Farrell. I had never seen this film before picking it up but I have watched it that's why it's in the bag. Um, I loved this film I thought it was great it was a gritty raw dark dull greenish movie <laughs> uh, which is what it's meant to look like um, and it looked fantastic on blu-ray as well as to be expected because um, they actually did take colour out of the movie when making the movie so it's not going to be eye popping colours. Um, but I love this film, I thought it was fantastic, it's one of those training movies um, preparing to go into the war. Uh, highly recommend checking it out, it's a very good film. And last of the steelbooks I picked up Tora Tora Tora. Uh, I did not own this on DVD or Blu-ray previously um, but I love the film, I've seen it numerous times uh, about the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, great, great film. There is very long and there is subtitles. The Japanese speak Japanese, so it's kind of a, a longer one to get uh, through. But if you watch it, it's great. You'll have a great time watching it. Uh, again, very nice steelbook uh, for $4.99. Couldn't beat that. Um, for such a great movie. So guys, I did pick up a couple DVDs. The first one I picked up was Kokoda, 39th Battalion. I only picked this up uh, two days ago, so I haven't watched it yet. But it's a, an Australian film. I think it's like an indie film because I think it won a special award Houston Film Festival. So I'm guessing it's an indie film uh, or an independent film. Um, it looks good. I've always passed up on it because um, it was an independent film. But I thought for 50 pence, I'll give it a watch. So yeah, no idea what it's like. But uh, yeah, decided to pick it up. For 50 pence, can't really go wrong. Alright guys, the final two titles for this update are two DVDs. I actually forgot to show these in my previous update, so these have been on the shelf there for a long time. Um, now this is a show that I watched a long time ago, when I was really younger. Uh, I used to watch this all the time. Uh, it's Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, this is the best of series one. And I did pick up the best of series two. I don't know, I like the show, I know it's a bit cheesy now looking at it, um, but I liked it, I liked how they were going after the bad guys and it was like real life, uh, well, most of it, um, but yeah, I love it, I, I hate how it got cancelled, but, um, and the re well, the reason why, okay, I understand, but yeah, I enjoy the, the series, so I did decide to pick them up, I got both for three quid, so I didn't break the bank spending it on getting these. Uh, and it's something cool to have in the collection that probably no one else will have in the collection. So these are kind of unique items to have. So I did pick up two discs or two seasons of it on DVD. So very, very cool. All right, guys. So that is it for this update. That's all the titles I've picked up in the last couple of weeks. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. It really shows your support. Hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't already and you're new around here. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Leave a comment down below on any of the titles that I talked about in this update. Uh, if you've seen any of them, definitely leave your opinions and thoughts down below. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and Letterboxd. Uh, all the links will be in the description down below. 
Uh, check me out on there. I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want to chat to me, uh, definitely can do. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be uploading again in a couple days time for sure. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll see when I upload next. Until next time guys, stay awesome, have a great day, peace.